fuck yeah. Score. Oh. Glock G43. Glock's introduction to the slim line 9mm handgun category. This gun was very controversial when it came out. Everyone was super hyped for something like this to come out. And uh, Glock being the jokesters that they are, they released the G40 MOS at SHOT Show that year. But not long after, this bad boy came out. Everyone was super hyped to have a small gun that was semi-quality come from Glock. Uh, this thing runs laps around like the Ruger LC9 or other comparable small handguns for the time. Um, these hold six rounds from the factory, so you basically have a revolver that's semi-automatic. They do include these magazines with finger extensions for your pinky, but they don't actually allow the magazine to hold any more bullets. They're hollow, which was gross oversight in my opinion, but hey, gives you that look of having a stendo without actually having a stendo. The features on these are pretty much identical to any other Glock pistol other than them being small. They have some updated internals which later became the features internally that we saw on the Gen 5 so it was kind of a dry run for those particular components internally. The Glock originally came out with the G42 which is very similar to this but in 380 and everyone knows 380 won't even go through a light jacket so they decided to come out with it 9mm so it's a smidgen bigger than that. Um, really good if you don't want to commit to carrying like an actual good gun. Um, you can have a neutered down Glock that holds six rounds that you can fit in your pocket so really great for running around in you know gym shorts, joggers, stuff like that um, where you don't want to actually commit to defending yourself. These do not have an accessory rail um, which I guess doesn't really matter on a gun this small but they're already kind of hard to hold on to so having an integrated light would have been awesome but hey Glock said we didn't need it so it's not there. That being said I believe Streamlight made some really shitty light like everything else they make that clamped on there that kind of worked but it's a Streamlight so of course it only kind of worked. Triggers on these, very Glockish, feels like a Glock. Um, in just about every way, this just feels like a small Glock, made for toddlers. In the year 2020, this gun is dying. Um, it holds six rounds, Glock even came out with a better version of it, the 43X, it holds 10. Uh, to compete with the 365, uh, 365 basically crucified this gun. It is now totally irrelevant. There is no reason to purchase one of these. You're probably watching this video because you're debating buying one of these right now. Uh, I can save you all the headache and answer this right now. No. In the year 2020, these things are super antiquated. Um, if you want a single stack gun that only holds six rounds because you uh, are one of the people that believes if you can't get it done in six, you should just go home. Uh, you can get this, and then when you run out of bullets in a gunfight and die, um, you can learn the errors of your ways as you're gasping your last breaths. Yeah. As far as shootability goes, they shoot pretty much like a Glock, and they're really snappy um, because of how small they are. If you get these expecting them to be light shooting, um, you're foolish. As we will say with every Glock we review, they do come with the polymer sights that are total dog shit. Uh, swap those out immediately if you do make the mistake of purchasing one of these pistols. Resale value on these is gonna keep dropping with more and more high capacity micro compacts coming out. So uh, if you're looking to get a carry pistol and don't want it to cut into your weekly cigarette fund, this could potentially be a really good option for you. On the bright side, this is probably gonna be a dope collector's piece one day. This is like the J-frame of semi-automatics. You're gonna have a bunch of gun shop employees trying to push these on new shooters and women, thinking it's something easy to shoot when in fact it's not. Uh, ladies, go out and buy a Glock 19, thank me later. If you do have a hard time carrying guns on your body, something small like this is good, or if you're one of the twisted souls who thinks it's a great idea to carry a gun off body in your purse, um, you might as well just get as big of a gun as you can. Put an AR-15 in there if you can, go for it. This gun set the bar for micro-carry polymer handguns, which in turn has resulted in this huge explosion we've seen of guns like the SIG P365 and Glock's later edition, the 43X, of micro-carry guns that have higher capacity closer to that of like a Glock 19, which ultimately is changing the meta of how people are viewing carry guns, which is super cool and something I gotta give them props for. 
Up until this point, no one really wanted to put out a quality small bend like this. They even got Springfield to try and do something right with the release of the Hellcat. Just as good. At least they took the fucking XD off the side of those guns. Some engineer at Glock was like, hey, let's do a subcompact that holds just as much as a revolver. That's some big brain thinking right there. Overall, it has the same footprint as guns like the P365, is roughly the same price, um, and holds half as much. So if you're in the market for a micro compact, I would recommend looking at literally anything else made by a reputable manufacturer. And if owning a Glock handgun is part of your identity, you should just go out and buy the 43X. It is bigger, but it holds 10 rounds and has roughly the same profile. So much better option from Glock. These are very reliable pistols. They do feed hollow points, unlike any Micro 9 that Kimber's making right now. So it's got that going for it. You know, we do need to appreciate this gun and kind of what it did for the industry. So um, drop a like and give an F in the chat for the Glock 43. And remember, stay strapped or get clapped.